Welcome back to Cops on Mark 1 Zero. Uh, you're joining us here, a very special episode. Um, today is uh, the 16th of July, which uh, for most people wouldn't mean much, but for the Mark 1 Zero crew and uh, a lot of other people involved, um, it's a day of remembrance um, and a day of reflection. Um, today marks 18 years since Mark 1 Zero was hit by an IED in Iraq. Um, a day which I nearly died and a day that we lost our three good friends. Uh, so today we always take the time to remember those guys. Um, usually it's a very sombre, sombre day, um, struggle to deal with it sometimes, but this year uh, we've come to Pegasus Lakes in France, a uh, very special venue. Uh, the guy who owns this place is also ex-military and we share a little connection, which we'll talk about a little bit later when we catch up with Pete later on in the week. Um, I've got Baines and Jelly Baby with me, as always. Talking Jelly Baby and Baines, I better go and find out what they're doing, because if I leave them for too long, who knows what they're getting up to. Let's go see. I see you rounding, rounding, up on the floor, I want to see you looking. You do know I'm very heavy, Joe, yeah? I'm nice. letting you know now. No, I'm letting you know, it's all mice. I'm not worried in the slightest, mate. I think <laughs> mate, one slip there, look, and one slip there. I thought I was going man down there. Try reeling it in again. What's that? Oh, it's in there. It's free? What? No, not really. Ah. Where am I sitting? Uh, oh, my foot's covered in mud. Sitting on the board. Oh, lucky me. Yo. Come on, step in. Come on, Shreko. You look so concerned. I do, yeah. Because of my weight, this shit ain't good ever. So we've decided we need to clean up the language here at Mark 1 Zero. So we're going to keep a fire count. For every F word fired, that person has to put a pound in the pot. Once it's accumulated, we'll donate it to a veterans angling or mental health charity. Get on, you sir. What? <laughs> oh. Get rowing then, skipper. This chance. Which one? Oh, that one? <laughs> Got it! Go on, Paul Got it, piss off! Mate, you're not even going towards the spot, are Right, good chance, f you know. Oh, I'm going the wrong way now. Do you know how I'm going to fall out this boat? Sorry, I'm a second. Hold on, sit down again, hold on, sit down again, Zick. No, no, I'm not sure. You've got to get above him, just don't pull the lead. Which one are we going? What way or not? Any right, 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 right. good? Oh, Is he? Yeah. It's a Terry! It's a f***ing tent! <laughs> Go off. Mate, shut up. What's your up? Go on. Oh, no way! I f***ing said I'd have a Terry first Oh, Charlie, you push out the boat. Charles, stop pushing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe this bullshit. What, back to shore? It's a f***ing tent. Back to shore? <laughs> oh, yeah, send it back there. Mate. We are moving. This is hilarious. I've never seen someone so terrible. You're literally going to roll me straight into the other right, mate. Oh, no, I've got it back when you get out there. Nah, no, we're going straight to the other right. My arm's up, mate. Is it? We need to be there, fucking, we're going worse and worse every rock. Stop it, mate. Go on. 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 Go Yep. Oh, I'm ready. Yeah. Flex it. <laughs> uh, well, welcome to Pegasus Lakes, lads. Obviously, we're on a very special episode, um, Remembrance. Remembering our lads that we lost in Iraq um, 18 years ago today. Um, it's a pleasure to be here with you guys 18 years later. 
doing something a little more pleasant as we were talking earlier yeah you know, yeah our life can uh, turn around yeah like and, uh, how we never expected we'd be here 18 years later just oh. doing what we're doing now but yeah we've uh, we came over to Pegasus Lakes in France um, have a little bit of a, a social remember the lads but obviously try and enjoy ourselves catch some fish yeah that's the main reason we're here um, we've already been here 48 hours nearly um, we've had a good few fish already nothing massive hopefully we're gonna hit the big ones later in the week uh, Jag was off to a great start within, what, an hour? Yeah, that's an hour, yeah. Me and Jelly had a little kip, as we do when we first get here. By a little kip, they slept the whole day with it. <laughs> <laughs> I was there, running around the sun, like a lunatic, making rigs, like white zigs. I'm getting on the zigs. And I'm checking, these two are out cold, literally. <laughs> out cold. I'm landing my first fish and these two are still asleep pretty much. Restoring oh, for you made up for it in the van, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you slept all the way here. Yeah, you got your sleep in. <laughs> but yeah, straight off the bat, James Baines was in. Um, how many you had now? Three? Four? Three, four, yeah. Yeah, three or four. Small commons, but still, he's, uh, he's off the mark and ready to go. Uh, Jelly's also had a few. Um, don't want to mention it, but he's had a good few tents as well. <laughs> well, yeah, he's, uh, he's also had a very nice mirror, um, which was what about 24 pounds? 20, what was it, 21 2? 21, 21 2 is what? 21 Yeah, two, very nice mirror, they've all been commons up to now, so it's nice to have a, have a mirror and get a change. Uh, but yeah, we're there, we're there for a week. Um, obviously, we're going to remember the lads, we'll have a little bit of a talk about them uh, later on. Um, tell you a bit more about the story of Mark 1 0. Um, very sad story, but it is what it is. Um, we have to uh, have to carry on. We have to remember them the best way we can, and we just have to go about it, um, trying to enjoy it, really. Um, <coughs> yeah. But it's crazy. Like 18 years ago, like we were in the in the desert, in Iraq, weapons, yeah. and 18 years later, we're here in France, barefoot, <laughs> like, just enjoying ourselves, almost in the just fishing and. Yeah, how yeah, times change and how time makes fools of all of us. Definitely. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it, mate? Definitely that, mate. Uh, but yeah, we're going to carry on fishing now, obviously. Uh, the 16th of July is coming to a close. That's uh, the main day that we're here for, so we're going to have a nice little barbecue tonight and just uh, have a little reflect, a bit of a social, a bit of a laugh. Um, and then we'll get on with the fishing more seriously throughout the week. Uh, we're going to catch up with Pete. He's an uh, X2 para. Uh, we share a little story which we'll uh, speak more about later in the week uh, but yeah that's it for now um, two power is probably just four power huh? yeah. oh yeah <laughs> that's that's Saturday, Saturday Sunday <laughs> service yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah. right yeah. that's right well we'll pull him up on that in the week yeah we'll have it <laughs> before we push on here's a run through of some of the action from our first 48 hours here on Pegasus we arrived around mid afternoon on the 14th of July and after a walk around the lake and a long drive me and Jelly needed to catch up on sleep, but Baines wasted no time getting amongst them on the zigs. We're at Pegasus Lakes for my first carp, a small little common, but it's a start and I'm more than happy with it. This is my new French PB, I've got no damage he weighs, I think it's about eight pounds, nine pounds. But yeah, three foot zig, bright red, sorted, more than happy. The 15th of July came with a change in the weather and I woke up feeling a little moody as I lost a good sized fish in the night as it came out and ditched the hook as it crashed back down into one of the thick weed beds in front of my swim. However, it was a first full day on Pegasus and I was eager to get out in the boat, investigate the swim and have a good lead about my spots, get some bait in and get the rod set. And while I was doing that, Someone else was making the most of the heavy showers. We got another snoring. Come. For once, it's not me.
new knobheads. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Great sleep we, as well. We could hear snoring, mate. We couldn't have that. Over that. I'll take him. Hold that place. <laughs> the master angler, Brett Kirkham. Off to a great start with his match fishing as always. Loading up his basket, his basket. with another shitter. One for the keep now. <laughs> <laughs> so, smallfish Brian, what have you got for us? Oh. <laughs> You'll be very surprised. Please tell me. Right. The carp normally in France range from 30 plus. What size carp have you caught for us today? About a three plus. Oh, <laughs> nice. Is that grams or pounds? Well, it's mad because look at the frame. Mate. Check out the French PB. Over the fing moon. <laughs> It's a start, it's a start. Proper little hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hit my nipple. <laughs> <laughs> The 16th of July started with another bang, as Baines had a take in the early hours and we continued to get plenty of action throughout the day. He's a shooter. Is it? No, he's fucking putting it on now, f***ing me. F***ing hell! Off that margin again? Yeah, I left one in there. Mate, that fish I lost was big, man. I've seen it splash in, in that weed. Yeah, yeah. Thud, right thud. Yeah, cool story, boulders. Remember I lost my first bream? Oh, it's good in the rest. It's a big rig, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Best one yet, yeah. anyway. Huh? Oh, he's a happy fish, though, isn't he? Definitely not happy, mate. No. Just as we was dealing with Baines' fish, my rod ripped off from the baited spot. The fish was causing some right havoc in the swim. Yeah, so I think he's made it to that far bed, the one that I'm fishing to. Right, he looks like he's going to your left a bit. Yeah. What? Your left. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's on. Yeah. He's coming round, he's kiting round. Hold yeah, hold his ear, hold him. Oh, it's kicking. That could be him in the line, though, now, because he's over that way, ain't he? Oh, is that that rod over there? No, it, it would have been here somewhere. It's gone solid again, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming. Oh, is that just weird? Oh, that just weird. It's too heavy, mate, for that. That is not just fucking weird. There's the other line, look. You've seen that, mate. There's the other line. Yeah. Well, I bet there's a fish in that. Do you think? What the f is this about? Reel that in. Reel that rabbit bang. What the f? What the f, bro? I want a 
know, man. I don't know. Let's just go back. If you keep something, it'll be over sooner than you think. So awkward, look. I should hold them. Go on, lower him down, watch. Go on. Now slide your hands under from the head and the tail. Go on, go under, go under there, look. Yep. So your fingers are at this fin here, look. These two fingers. Yep. And then same on that fin there. Like that? Yeah. yeah. And then lean him up. And he should, once you get him up sitting nice like he should be calm a lot. So my third carp of the session uh, on a Ronnie rig with a small little pop up with loads of bait around it. Chuffed to bits. I'm hoping for a few more and bigger in size every time. Happy days. It wasn't long before my spot was away again. With a little bit of help from my friends, this time we were ready for it. Oh, this is from the fish. Sweet. Where are you doing over that way, yeah? Yeah. I'll get you south to the boat. No, you're up. You're up. Get south Yeah. Okay. Oh, keep on that straight up. Straight back, yeah. Yeah. I need to slow down if you're on top of it. Start going to your left. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Right, I'm up to the lead, I try and get me a unit in. It ain't massive, is it? But it's a fish, mate. <laughs> Happy guys. Happy fing sex day, brother. Right. Well, that was exciting. We have him, first French fish, first fish of this session for me. Uh, lost a big one in the night, so this has uh, cheered me up a little bit. I was a little down before that. Uh, but yeah, first French carp, uh, possible 20, we're gonna weigh him in a minute. Uh, happy 16th of July, first fish for me. Hopefully we get plenty more. Colour, beautiful colour is there. Oh, he's on, on the tail. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't follow him. He looked small again when he went. He's bigger than the other ones, isn't he? Yeah, but he's, he's not he's bigger than that AC, though. Yeah, no, but he's a little bit bigger than the other one, isn't he? That colour there, colour's beautiful there, isn't that yellow? That goldy colour. What, has he been hit by a propeller? Why well, wounded? Look at his head. Oh, his shoulders, look. Really? <clears throat> Aye. 
Let's get you back, shall we? Uh, chuck's that net. Should be able to net him under there, mate. Look, any good? Don't feel it, like. Oh, it's a mirror. It's a f***ing mirror, boys. How mad's that? And it's about £16. <laughs> well, I'm a bit f***ed here. Because I'm going to net him. And I'm over the f***ing rod, ain't I? No, it ain't because my f***ing... Give him... Mate, that's a good fish, bro. That's a good fish. Oh, come on, you little ballend. <laughs> Fuck me. That was a bit stressful, boys. <laughs> Beep me, you bloody beepers. <laughs> is, that, is that better? <laughs> Oh, mate, let me put these in sports mode because I'm about to lose him. <laughs> I've lost him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, look at this. <laughs> oh, mate, that was matted. Mate, what? Nah, single. Oh, uh, is that the left rod? No, nah, that's that one, bro. Double. That's that one. Yeah, I so. A decent fish, that, mate. Oh, mate yeah. Happy days, bro. All right, Neville. As if I called mirror and it was a mirror. How am I, sir? Hold it. Go on, hold it, hold it. Lift him up. What are you saying there? 26 4, yeah? yeah. You happy with that? Yeah. Just got to wire the sling off after. Oh my god, calm down, Neville. Oh. Yeah? yeah. Oh, happy. Finally had something decent. I've had two tench, top dangling, as to be expected, and a little common. We seem to be getting plagued with them, but. Finally getting into something a bit better, so happy days. 26.4 in the sling, we'll see what he weighs after. With the 16th of July coming to a close, I can honestly say it's been the best anniversary so far. I've spent it with amazing friends, we've had some great laughs and we've all caught fish. There's only one thing left to do, let's fire up the barbecue, toast our friends and enjoy the evening. We continued on throughout the night and early hours hitting into the smaller fish that reside in these lakes. Here we have another, Gary Glitter. We sat down for breakfast and discussed plans to make a move in the search for bigger fish. Oh man. Robert De Niro. <laughs> Is that your new song, Joe? That's our version of I Need a Hero, ain't it? <laughs> Robert De Niro! I think one of us, one of us got off. Maybe he can come and hook me a bigger <laughs> fish. Cause I'm I've scared it's gonna fall over this shit. Of this. Pegasus has two lakes. Lake two at 35 acres and lake one at 32 acres. Although it's a drive and survive venue, has great facilities on site, 
like clean showers and bathrooms, fridges and freezers for all your food and your bait, and electrical charging points. There's also a nice barbecue and bar area for socialising and takeaways can be delivered on site so you'll have everything you need to make yourself comfortable. So we're heading into our fourth day here at Pegasus Lakes. It's been absolutely stunning here. The weather's been amazing too. You have to excuse me from looking here. Tad Elephant Man, getting absolutely eaten alive by the mosquitoes out here. I suppose that's just part of it this time of year. Uh, we've all made a move yesterday. We're all fishing on Lake One now. We spent the weekend close together, just have a little bit of a social, remember the lads, spend a bit of time together and have a bit of banter. Um, we've all had a few fish, but we're getting absolutely hammered by the smaller ones, some of the new stockies and the spawn ons from last year. Absolutely nailing us. And Jelly's had a couple more tench, which is absolutely buzzing about, obviously. So yeah, we've uh, now made a move, uh, trying to seek out some of the bigger fish. I've come down to a nice quiet corner, literally got this corner to myself. Jelly and Baines are fishing over on the other side, got a double, double swim point. Um, so they've got plenty of water to go at. So spread out a little bit, trying to seek out some of them bigger fish. Um, but yeah, it's been absolutely beautiful here at Pegasus so far. The weather's been absolutely amazing. Other than getting eaten alive, but that's part of it, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, I'm going to give it to around one o'clock here. Um, I, didn't, I didn't get set up till about 10 p.m. last night with moving and getting everybody else set up and getting some food and then pushing 10 o'clock by the time I actually got round to the swim and got a rod in, so I didn't fish it properly last night. Um, we'll sit it out till about one o'clock today, this afternoon. Um, might just have a little lead about, find some spots, get some bait in. Uh, then I'll, I'll pull the rods in, rest the swim for the afternoon, I'm going to head over to the guys and see how they've been getting on. I think Jelly's had another one in the night, so good start for him on his new swim. Um, when I hear talk that Baines wants to give us a lesson in French language, so we'll be looking forward to that as well. Is this on, yeah? Yeah, on, yeah. You're not coming in, Bynes? Or... Technically, well, for the video, whatever. Yeah. You want him in a picture video? Go for it, see what you want to do. Nice fish. Yeah, lovely fish. Yeah. Big frame, ain't there? Go on, mate. Yeah. This, this one was caught on Bynes' rod. Decided to go and mong it somewhere. I was uh, just chilling out, drinking drinks, just mong it basically, and uh, yeah, Gel's caught this on my rod for me, bless him. Unfortunately for Bane. I tried to hold on and scream, but he couldn't hear me. I was too busy monging it. But it means my rigs are working, everything's working, so I can't moan too much. That's it, you're on the right spot. Yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome to an episode of Learn to Speak French in France by your favourite host, the Asian Angler. Carp sign, Mike One Zero. We'll start off with Bonjour. This is You're right, mate. How are you? The next word we're going to learn is Merci, which is Cheers, Mucker. Thanks. Nice one. The next one will be Deja vu, which means, I saw that earlier. I've seen that a few days ago. Deja vu. The next one, and this is a crazy one for you, sauce burger, which translate to burger sauce. The same thing we put on our burgers. The next one is, c'est la vie, which means, that's life. And it's also a very good song that we know 
which is bewitched. I can't remember the words to it. <laughs> Do say you don't say you do what I don't say to me say to say say la vie. Tune in next time for another episode of Speaking French with the Asian Angler. Carp sign Mike One Zero. Looking good, specialings. Yeah, I'll sort some mats out. Yeah. Do you want to do them together or do you want to do them separate? Yeah, together. You pulled up down that far when you were pegs before. Just them trees are there, carp just boshed. Yeah, it don't bother me, there's a fing load showing around there. Oh, I can imagine how those fucking shit low. Low. pumping that oh, way. That wind's hacking you, isn't it? Well, that's one in the night again, it fing totally ripped my rod off the uh, pod. And I could see the end, my handle sticking out, so I picked it up. It's literally like about 12 inches of line hanging off the reel. So I reckon when it's ripped off the pod, you must have slammed on the end of the swim and cut the line. Yeah, cool story, mate. More like 12 inches of dribble hanging off your chin. Do you want to cock her out or in this video, Your choice, mate. <laughs> 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 yeah. <clears throat> Gotta be a 20, that, mate. Oh, mate, it's way over. Oh, no, it's not going to be with the sling, is it? 31. Uh, 30 pound four. Minus the sling that was two pounds, Mark. No, you mad. That was about five pounds. That was. Away the sling. Afterwards, in it, so was it? Yeah, 30, that sling was 34. about five, thirty pounds four. Cool. I'm gonna get a slap in the face. I really know what's happened. I'm gonna get slapped in the face by a car and look like an absolute knob. Oh, yeah, Danny. Calm down. Can't get a hand under him, keeps kicking off every time. Oh, come on. Come on then, Bouncy boy. I'm trying my best here, mate. So this morning, we managed to get a double take. Happy but... days, Bouncy's one went, we were saying, be lovely to have another. And then the other one decided to rip into action. So we've now got, oh, yeah, Mikey coming out as well. Absolute bonus. Not the biggest again, but at least we're into them, I suppose. It means our rigs are working, our spots are working. That's it, we've still got a few nights left. Ugh. So the bigger one's moving. All right. Calm down, Neville. Oh. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're lively. I'll give them that, mate. Ugh. Catch yours on then, Bouncy boy. Uh, double wafter with a bit of hemp over the top of that as well. And some maize, top it off. Straight boily, this one. Perfect. Straight boily, mate. A quick kiss. Mwah! I love you. <laughs> Best friends forever. <laughs> oh. Lost it instantly. Oh, you oh he's up. gone. With the fish on the feed, it was just a case of keeping the bait going in and hoping it would keep the fish there, which resulted in a few more fish.
But over in Baines' swim, things had quietened down a little. He had his own ideas. What are you up to, Baines? Just getting the carp in the area. Ah, pushing the wind along. Using my inner chi. Oh, my arm's getting hot now. It's all that chi. Welcome to Broken Man Cam. I'm having an absolutely honking week round here on Moor Swim. It's another lost fish, that's three now. Three lost fish off the same spot. I just don't know what's going on. Uh, I just lost another one about half an hour ago. Flew off, made it to a weed bed, dived in the boat, half deflated boat at that. Uh, managed to get out there. We had ditched me in the weed, just left me a big ball of weed on the lawn. Um, absolutely broken. And three lost fish now for that same spot. Uh, it just doesn't feel like it's happening for me on this session. Got one night left. To be honest, if it weren't for the fact that the lads are still over there fishing, I would have just sacked you off by now. I'm that done here. Yeah. One night left. What's going to happen? Okay, so we're into our final 24 hours here on Pegasus Lakes. Um, I'm now joined by Pete Burke, owner of the lakes and X2 Para. Pete, thanks for having us, mate. No problem, it's been a pleasure. It's been an amazing Loved week. It. Loved it. Thank you for having us, buddy. Um, our first con. First contacted Pete uh, early last year, um, looking for a venue to do this rem remembrance episode. Um, I knew he had military connections, so it was a good place to start. But when I actually made the call, um, actually turned out to be quite an odd conversation, mate. Didn't yeah, it? I'm getting goosebumps now. I think it's every time we mention it, I get goosebumps about it. Yeah, same. Um, mine and Pete's stories are so similar. Um, so I told Pete that obviously I served with the Staffordshire Regiment in Alamara. Um, and I was blown up by a snatch la in, a, in a snatch Land Rover. Um, Pete then turns around and says... That was in 2005 as well. In 2005, that's yeah. right, yeah. And then uh, Pete's reply was... Uh, I got blown up in a snatch Land Rover in Alamara in 2006. Yeah, literally a couple of hundred metres down the road from where I was. Yeah. Um, absolutely bizarre. Um, straight away, it was just a... Uh, Took, took, took me back, and I think it took it, Pete it back did as me, well. Yeah, I'll, I'll never forget it. You know, I still, like I say, I get goosebumps, and um, yeah, it's been on my mind all week. It's it's bringing it back. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's I've loved having you here, and yeah, same here, mate. The band turn that we've had. It's I been think uh, as it's gone through, it, I feel it was kind of it was meant to be. It was kind of the perfect location, massively. Um, and it just felt like I was meant to get in contact with Pete. Um, yeah, to say our stories are so similar. And uh, we've had a few conversations throughout this week and it, it just gets even more canny, like, <laughs> even down to the, the finer details. Um, obviously, I won't go into it too much on the camera, but um, Pete sadly lost his boss in the incident. Um, I lost my boss in the incident. They both passed from the same kind of injury. Yeah. And then we, later, name. we later found out they were both called Richard. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's just uh, totally yeah. bizarre. But, um, and also, as uh, we were talking about, Two Parrot took over. That's right, yeah. The staff, staff so, in, yeah, in Alamara. Staffords came out um, off Telex 6. Um, two Parrot took us over onto Telex 7. Yeah. And yeah, it's just, uh, just absolutely bizarre. Yeah. Just like it was meant to, meant to be. Um, it's kind of like, for me, having somebody that understands what I think and feel and knows what I'm going through. Um, exactly the same for me, Steve. It's, uh, 
it's been straight. It's been a strange week. It's uh, it has, yeah. It has. Um, knowing, you know, a pleasure but strange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hopefully, mate, it's gonna be a, a lifelong, well, like, lifelong friendship. Yeah, man. absolutely, mate. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, and uh, my phone's always on, which I know is yours is as well. Yes, mate. Definitely. We've isn't already it? booked for next, next year. year we'll, yeah, we'll so. be back. We'll be back next year, and uh, probably every year after that as well. Absolutely. Absolutely mate. love this place. Um, I think in another two or three years, mate, this place is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. yeah obviously, it's still getting established. And yeah, yeah. But absolutely beautiful spot. Um, Thanks, mate. And going forward, the next two or three years, this place is going to be amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll definitely be back. Um, but, yeah, just going on from, from the military, obviously, you came out with the military. Um, I think both got let down a little bit. Got um, let down massively, yeah. yeah. I, well, I always felt I didn't. It's one of the reasons why I'm here in France now is um, I just, really, you'll, you'll understand as well, I, massively let down and I don't know it's a lot of a lot of feelings and emotions involved being in England I don't miss England at all um, I don't particularly like the country uh, but I love the blokes and exactly, the yeah. military the, you know I, I just think they're kicking punching way above the weight and yeah. they don't, you get a lot of respect now but yeah, I think it's coming coming on a little bit since, yeah. since our day, yeah. since we since our day, and but yeah, it's just coming on a little bit, but it's still far from what it needs to be. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, going forward onto fishing, um, obviously you 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 took took Pegasus Lakes on and yeah, so um, I fished all my life um, when I was a kid. Okay. Coast fishing, fishing for tench, roach, loved it. Absolutely, I've always fished, always, and um, when I come out of the army. Uh, I met a lad who I played rugby. He's ex ex force as well, ex light dragoons, Les, yeah. and uh, he went to his carp fishing and he kept telling me, you know, come with us, come with us. And so I've not been carp fishing years, yeah, yeah, uh, but I've always fished. And I went with Les once and loved it, loved it. And then um, about three months later, I'm about three grand down on fishing tackle, <laughs> and as we all uh, know I, that I, I find me sitting in France with him, and I had the best week ever. Uh, loved it, so from from there on, um, the the seed got sown as to to buy a lake yeah. to get a lake, and um, it's always been a thing for me to get veterans over and serving lads as well, and yeah. you know, because I've come out at the other end, uh, so it's. And do you think fishing's played a big part in that? Massively, mate. Yeah, massively. It's yeah. Um, it's an escape, isn't it? Definitely, it's, it's, not. A, it's a yeah, massive escape, not. and. Uh, Gives you something else to think about, you know. You're not. Yeah. It's, yeah. I, I think it's a massive. I think all veterans um, should give it a go. Definitely. That's what this channel's about. It's trying to uh, introduce fishing to more veterans. Hopefully, get them back out of the bank. Give them a bit of a focus. Yeah. Um, I think it's easy. A bit of fresh air. Yeah. A bit of fresh that's air. Well, the nature, nature. The fresh air. Yeah. And, uh, just mixing with other people again as well. Exactly. Yeah. And it's coming interesting with all your. We all like fishing. It's uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. I've met so many f new friends from having having lakes. A lot of veterans and all, and yeah. it's been mega. I've loved it. But they come on here, the veterans. Some of them struggle, quite a lot of them. And you can see when they come, they're, they're different uh, when they leave on Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, sure. Uh, they're a lot less stressed, uh, calm, and the rebook. They all rebook and uh, yeah. Start looking forward to year after. Yeah, I think it gives them that that change if they've like been at home stuck in a rut and then they get that change and a bit of an experience. Exactly, it's gives them a bit of a pick me up. Yeah, it? it's a it's a break from normal day. Yeah, definitely. And, as you know, in, in, in army, every every day is, can be different. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. when they when they leave and they go into a nine till five job, something from to look forward to. Yeah, definitely that. Well, I was pretty much the same. I grew up around fishing. Um, I remember catching my first carp with my granddad at like 10 years old. And, okay, yeah. And it, fishing was always part of my life. But it wasn't until I actually got out of the military and went fishing one day and it was like, you know what, I'm actually, yeah. I'm actually really yeah, enjoying, enjoying this. Yeah. And it was buzzing. It's just been something that's kept me focused. And, yeah, yeah, it's been a really good thing for me angling. So. Yeah, it's relaxing, isn't it? It's, it brings a lot. It's, it's good for lads. It's good for lads. The nature. And, Absolutely. You know, we're not quite bivvied up. No, no, and there's bashes, but uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's just just that being outside. Of course, again. it is, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's what, it's what we're used it to in the military, yeah. isn't it? So, but yeah, we've uh, we've had a, an amazing week here, Pete. No, I mean, I've, I've loved it. Um, Fishing's been a bit slow, but uh... mate, I've had, I've had I've had an amazing week, <laughs> and I've had a terrible week at the same time. <laughs> yeah. I've literally Some lost. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had a couple of small fish on the first couple of nights, and then 
I've had a terrible week, just losing fish, losing fish, but got one knot left. I'm determined to hit one. Yeah. So I'll be stagging on the rods tonight. No sleep. I'll be watching the rods stagging tonight. Stagging on, mate. Yeah. Stagging on again. Um, next year, mate, we'll uh, we'll make sure it happens next year. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Definitely be back out, and we'll hopefully get amongst some of the bigger girls. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, really do. Uh, advise anybody to come check out Pegasus Slags. Actually, yeah, be thanks, beautiful mate. spot. Uh, great guy here. Thank um, you. There's also uh, fishery manager Rick here that do anything to help you, make you feel comfortable. You know, really couldn't do bend over backwards for you. So come out, check out Pegasus Lakes. Um, beautiful spot. And yeah, Pete, Cheers, thank, 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 thank you, you for having me. Thank you, mate. It's thank been you. A, been a pleasure meeting yeah, you, buddy. Met, and, uh, mate for life, mate. Definitely. I'll never forget so, you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's yeah. bizarre. <laughs> Definitely bizarre. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Cheers, Paul. Cheers, buddy. 23 turn. Not the biggest again, but at least we're getting into her. Would you catch it on? Ronnie rig. Uh, hybrid pop up, to be fair, mate. Main on hybrid. Oh, let's get him back. So we're going into our 20, final 24 hours here on Pegasus. Um, we couldn't let this Remembrance episode go along without talking about the lads we lost. Um, Private Leon Sparsa, Private Philip Urit, and uh, Second Lieutenant Shearer. Um, that is what this is about. Um, so we just wanted to talk a, a little bit about remembering them. We want to keep their memories alive. Um, not just for us, but for them, for their families, um, and, and, and just for everybody else. Uh, three legendary guys, and I'm not just saying that because they're friends, they genuinely were three of the most nicest guys I've ever met. Um, so many fond memories, which I think we've all got. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, all, we, all, we all remember them every day in our own way. But it's just important that we get this out so everybody else can remember them as well. Um, yeah, Private Leon Sparsa, Private Philip Hewitt, Mr Shearer. Um, big love, always remembered, never forgotten. Um, there's also another guy that we, we can't let go, we can't let this episode go by without mentioning him. It's a bit of an awkward one how uh, we approach it, but we can't not let it go without talking about this guy. Um, our good brother Pex um, sadly passed away two years ago on the 16 year anniversary, uh, on the 16th of July. Um, he was found past. Um, I must stress, we've been informed it's nothing to do with suicide. Um, his family have uh, put that across, so it's not suicide, purely coincidental. But we couldn't, we couldn't not mention this guy. Um, he was also injured on the 16th of July with myself and the lads that passed away. So yeah, big love to uh, our brother Pax. Always remembered, never forgotten to. Uh, but yeah, we're coming to the end of our session um, on Pegasus. Um, with the 16th of July, it's something that we we always remember, but it's not something that we ever really talk about. Um, we, all, we all share it, it's a, bond, it's a bond we share, but we never really talk about it. Um, so I'm just going to give these lads a little opportunity, if they want to, there's no pressure. Um, ask me any kind of question from that night. Um, I'm sure they've got things that go through their mind, maybe questions they may want to ask or get answered. So yeah, is there anything, anything you guys want to I want to ask about 16th of July. See, for me, like, even now, just thinking about it, like, I want some tears right now. Yeah. So, I'm good. Yeah, that's good. No, it's, uh, it's a very emotional time. Um, but as I say, we don't talk about it. We don't need to talk about it. We know what it's about. We remember our brothers every day, not just on 16th of July, every day. Um, yeah, we've had, we've had our emotional times this week. Um, it is hard to talk about, but we have to mention them. It's Remembrance episode. We have to mention them. That's what we're about. We're Mark 1 Zero. Um, and yeah, big up to the uh, cool sign Mark 1 Zero guys that are no longer with us today. Uh, appreciate you both being here with me. And look, see you both getting teary eyes. Um, we'll leave it at that because it's getting a little bit too much for these guys. Um, <laughs> I'm for myself now. But yeah, um, big up to the four lads that we lost. Always remember us. We'll never forget you guys. Thank you for the times that we shared with you.
Yeah. All right, Brent. Oh, the stocky. Oh, that feels too special. It's a fish, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. It's not. It's it's carp, it's carp, it's carp. So it is. <laughs> yeah, mate. Stockies. Probably on ground, that. Oh, Jerry, he's massive, he is, mate. How do you land this one? <laughs> I wouldn't. No, they don't get a mate. Oh, now they don't. Got it. How you doing, mate? Rather not. That's how you convert a point to a land. See you next year with your eleven pound. You all that you can have that, bro. Don't, don't throw. Oh, mate. No, I'm good. Sure. Wait for the kipper, mate. Still confident. I'm glad Could you are. tell this morning? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to bolt it, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, just... yeah, I just hold him up and drop him in. He's ready to go. That's it. Have yeah. a little comment. Finds on the unlocking team. We love it. Get him, big lad. Yeah, one second, Jimmy's um, stuff. There you go, John. Don't let no one see that, though. Now I'm catching all these shit. Else. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? Oh, yeah, look. Imagine it. F***ing Sir Kipper. It's our luck. We can make it. I love the wind, it's so. <laughs> 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 we like Poonani, 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 Poonani. It's all going on, boys. Right, our week here at Pegasus Lakes has come to an end. Um, I've had an absolutely stonking week. Uh, two, lost two fish on the first weekend and three lost runs throughout the week. Absolutely honking week. Uh, Baines has had the biggest fish and Jelly's had the most. Well done, lads. Um, just want to give a big thank you to all the uh, sponsors that have helped make this episode possible. RJD Vans in Tamworth, DNA Baits, Optimum Security and Risk Management, and of course Pete Burke here at Pegasus Lakes. Thank you all for your support, it's very much appreciated. Uh, we thank you all for watching this special Remembrance episode and remembering our friends. We've all had a brilliant week, regardless of more fishing. Um, we'll see you all on the next episode of Cops on Mark 10, but for now, it's Mark 10 out. Don't forget Boom. to like and subscribe. Exactly. Like that. and subscribe. Click the like button. <laughs>